Bruins as we get set to drop the puck in game number four of this series tonight. This is what you're playing for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building and we are underway. The Firebirds have it behind the cage. Inside the offensive zone. Kicked away. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. Handles the pass. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Lind. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Lind. Hayden's got it against the boards. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Pass to Tuff. Colorado's across the blue line. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Carrick. Coachella Valley's on the attack. Scores! And they're on the board quickly in this one. Well, it's because they were ready, James. Uh, I mean, the first five strides right from puck drop were urgent. And when you're aggressive and you're urgent on the puck, you find a way to put it in. Well, a big defensive breakdown leads to this opportunity, and he makes the most of it with a teed-up shot. It's a one-timer, and he hammers it home. Coachella Valley's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already the first goal of the game, and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done, and that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone, you control the pace of play, and you find a way to get on the board first. Into the offensive zone. The Firebirds gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes the pass. Fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Coachella Valley's ahead. 1-0. Quick pass across to Winterton. Along the half wall with the puck. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Buzz play continues. Can you Sure. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. And now he moves it quickly to Wesley. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Hooray is going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot. Big time stop. Puck scooped up by Kodorowski. And he takes the dish. Coachella Valley's gained possession along the boards. And they'll dump it in. Loses his balance on the play. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Hull. Oh, oh and another save. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Firebirds lead it 1-0. Hedman's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Fleury. Up the neutral zone now. Coachella Valley's got the puck in their own end. Sends it into the offensive zone. Poked away at center by Fleury. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Takiro. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Up along the wing. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Moves it to Kiro. The Eagles played along the boards. And oh, oh, save on the ball. Spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. 
such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and outwilling everyone around you. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Well, with a one-goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're short-handed, and they got to find a way to kill it off. Dreger's a great goalie who can steal a game for his club. Hunt's a solid defender, but he can still throw up points for his club. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. And he makes the save. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Down a player and certainly feeling the heat right now. With this kind of pressure on the PK, you have to be real hard on your stick and make sure you get the pool. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Whoa! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Colorado's got the puck. The Eagles have it now. chance on this one as his teammate just makes a gift of a pass right into his wheelhouse and he just powders it by. More than half the frame has been played here. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Booty has won the draw here in the neutral zone. Now he takes it over the line. last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Passes over to Melanson. The Firebirds take it along the wall. Here's a shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And he takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. That knocks him off the puck. And there's the save on the play. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a stop by Trigger. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Change up, come on. Takes control of the puck. Quick pass to Smith. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Still has possession. Sepala's got it in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Sends it in deep. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Wesley's taking it from his own end. Taken by Parade. That's blocked. James and closing on the puck with leave since an upward trajectory as this game's progress and they find the back of the net. But he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. The Eagles seize the moment and grab that all-important go-ahead goal up by one here in the back half of the first. Well, this is an earned lead, James, is that they've been first on the puck, they've been quick to it, they've dominated in terms of the shots on net, and they found the back of the net. Now they can play with a different air of confidence and hopefully ride out the first and continue to hold the lead. Trager's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Hooray, has been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident, he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Receives the pass. Scooped into the trapper by Trigger. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Eagles are looking to build on this one-goal lead. 
Coachella Valley's got the win off that draw. Sends a pass over. McKinnon's got the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Middleton's gained the line and on the attack. Fires it on net. Directed over to McKinnon. From the open ice, they gain the line. The Eagles have it now. Passes up ahead from the left wing. The Eagles looking against the half wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a short pass to Hunt. Passes the puck over to Kiro. Slick feed. Taken here by Tuck. The Firebirds gain control of it. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Nice blocker save by Holm. Save made by the goalie. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Trager's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Colorado's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. The Eagles win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Eagles slide it through center. Strong defensive effort. Close. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Puck is dropping. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Coachella Valley's looking to break out. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. And Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Both teams are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far, Cheryl. Your assessment. Digger is the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Eagles are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Colorado's going to start with the puck in their own end. Great pass from the left wing. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Shot! Denies him! The shot's come to the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Firebirds are playing in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Eagles have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now it's grabbed by Schultz. Great defensive effort with the stick. Ivan's got it along the wing. And that's intercepted by Rinky. Gaining momentum up along the side. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. 
Here they come on the attack down the left side. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Quick shot. Oh, what a save by Drieger. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Firebirds start with the puck in their own end. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it over to Studenich. Moves the puck along the half wall. There's another for the hit parade. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Feeds it down low. From Park Lake. Oh, what a stick save! There's the whistle, and here's the call. Hurray's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Coachella Valley sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. And that goes wide. Takes the feed from off the boards. Puck clear from the defensive end. Picked up along the wall by Carrick. Oh, and they go back on offense. Coachella Valley's got the puck. Takes it and looks ahead. Great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Great heads up play to poke it away from the offensive end. Puck slid down the ice. Picked up along the boards by Olofsson. The Firebirds go over on the man advantage and are still trailing by a goal. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength trying to get back on the board. And that's intercepted by Hayden. The Firebirds will play from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Coachella Valley's got it across the line. And we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. Wright's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Sends it down low. Coachella Valley's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds the puck across to Winterton. Quick shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. The Eagles take it along the wall. On the attack along the boards. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Past the midway mark in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Coachella Valley's playing it through center. And he slides it quickly to Sapala. Takes a shot. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puderowski's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. The Eagles have it from their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Denies him again. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. McKinnon's got it on the offensive end. 
Takes a shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here's a chance. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. The Eagles have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Firebirds have the puck now. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Shot! And that goes off his blocker. Takes the bank feed. Puts it on net. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Denied that one. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. Quick stop by home. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Now uh, you got to toe the line. You can play with an edge, but you certainly can't play frustrated and take penalties consistently. That's the second of the period. Special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Quick feed to Olofsson. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Defensive play as he extends the stick. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Can't get a hold of that pass. And they clear that puck. Grabs the puck at center. Moves it to Middleton. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Slides the puck over. Hooray's up and ready to get back on the ice. Man advantage fails to deliver, and both teams back playing at even strength with the score still tied. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer, but finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Coachella Valley's got it in their own zone. Oh, big time hit along the wall. Suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. Almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Dished on over to Winterton. And they're in the final minute of the second. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Oh, he scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The Firebirds pick up the all-important go-ahead goal late here in period number two. Well, you're always cutting periods into five-minute increments, and this is the one that they wanted to score in, James, because it creates momentum, momentum that they can carry forward to the intermission. Coachella Valley's got the puck against the half wall. the buzzer two periods down one more to go they always say three is the magic number and we've got period number three next 
It's time to support those around us with our monthly food drop. Bring three non-perishable food items, and you can receive a free team poster. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And with that, the third period is now underway. Lens lugging the puck. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Kiro. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. He got all of that hit. Kiro's moving the puck through his own zone. Slides it to Tuff. He carries the puck up along the wing. Sends the pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Eagles have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Winterton stick handling in his own zone. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Center and feed. Misses. Slides the puck down low. Takes the puck. Denies him with the save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lots of time left in this period. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Coachella Valley's taking possession in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here they come up along the wing. And that's knocked away by Melanson. Coughs up possession of the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. And that's poked away by Ivan. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Close to the crease. Oh, tremendous serve on the play. What incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And this shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw. Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Colorado's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Coachella Valley's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we're sitting. The Eagles win the draw. And it's a quick pass to Holland. The Eagles take the puck through the neutral zone. Colorado's got it along the wall. Take a change, take a change. Textbook poke check by Studenic. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Jabs the puck away. Change up, change up. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck picked up by Studenich. Here's the pass. Oh, a stick save and a butte. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Hughes won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Makes the save with the trapper. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here's a change. Popcorn. Coachella Valley's won the faceoff. Picked off by Tuck. Coachella Valley's got the puck in the defensive end. That's not going to fool him. Quick pass to Kiro. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Can't maintain 
possession after that hit. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. He takes a moment to backtrack, but maintains possession. And now he tries to get it across to all Oh, what a save! What a perfect lead! Oh, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, James, but wasn't able to sell the hit. Nice save by the tender. The Firebirds have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. Coachella Valley's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The Firebirds take it from the side. Perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Still lots of time left in the period. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Here's a short pass to Smith. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Stranger's gonna hang on for a whistle. More than half the period has expired. Coachella Valley's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. The Eagles win the faceoff. Moves the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Firebirds are across the line and into the offensive end. What a steal in his own end. Well, you play the game differently depending on the situation, and when you're up, you got to know it, and you got to game manage, and you got to puck manage. That turnover, coach isn't going to like that one at all. Moves it quickly over to Carrick. Knocked away by Middleton. The Firebirds have it in the offensive end. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. The Firebirds have it against the wall. And the puck's knocked loose. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. And that doesn't reach the net. Scooped up along the wall by McKinnon. He scores! Make it three in a row, and they're humming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy, every single shift. They're getting it in. The Firebirds will look to try to bring this home now, up by two in the back half of this third period, Cheryl. It's been a great game for them, James, but it ain't over yet. They've got to find a way to close this one out, and the best way to do it is when you have the puck on your stick. Don't give it up for free. Close quickly and look to attack. Holland's got the puck in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Schoenemann. The Eagles played along the wing. Moves the puck down low. Quick feed to Paré. Great hits up play with the stick by Schultz. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Dishes it to Middleton. Takes the feed from his own end. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Line chain. Grabbed along the board by Schultz. Takes the feed at the back end. Wrist up, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Krieger has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Takes the feed from the left side. Slides it diagonally to Hayden. Handles it along the blue line. The Firebirds take possession in the defensive end. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Firebirds have it now. Gains the zone from the right. The Firebirds carry it along the wall. Here's a shot. Turns it away. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time. And man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Hunt's been exciting again tonight, guys. He gets in on the box score, and you can bet he'll feel satisfied with his contributions. Feeds the puck over to Kiro. Here's a chance. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Firebirds lead it 4-2. 
Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Melanson's been nabbed for tripping. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. and they finally made it happen. Now they're in the final frame here, but they got one back, and you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. The Eagles' last goal, Cheryl, huge. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer. And this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their stick, so they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. Colorado's on the attack. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Quick pass to Hunt. And that carries off a body in traffic. The Firebirds cross the blue line and are on the attack. And that's Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet. So you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. You got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. themselves as a playoff performer while the rookie an impressive start to leading a lasting impression the coach makes a decision to pull the goaltender here james they get the extra attacker out so you have to use the advantage to your favor and that's exactly what they do they own the puck on retrieval and they find a way to attack the net officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway Who's walking away with the W tonight? Over 
time should give us an answer, and they're ready to drop the puck. Overtime action is underway. Absolutely love it. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Colorado's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Turn that one aside. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender, Hoop, does a great job of making it happen. Takes it to the front. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. And that's a smart heads-up play by Ivan. Here they come on the rush. And rings the arm. That's an unlucky bounce as the shooter is driving in and just sees an opening, but unable to convert as it goes off of the pipe and out. Great reach by Tuck. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Slides it quickly to Holland. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. Colorado's crossed the line and on the attack. Coachella Valley's got control of it now from their own end. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Well, the coach didn't feel this was warranted. It wasn't egregious enough during overtime to call it, but it is a penalty. This is an urgent kill. Coachella Valley's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, this could be it, James. An overtime power play opportunity to get the W for your team. Who's it going to be? Poked away in the offensive zone by Winterton. Slides it back to the blue line. Nice stick save by the goaltender. Got a piece of that one to slot it away with the twig. Wright's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Gets a hold of the puck. The Firebirds have it now. Here's a chance. Oh, he comes up for the stop. Here's it up. The Firebirds ready to go on the attack. And a good save on the play as action continues. There's the whistle and a much needed one at that, Cheryl. Well, everyone takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They've lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. Professional better. Yes! They scored! Winning in overtime! I'll tell you what, this squad came to play tonight. Well, power play face-offs in the Ozone. This is exactly what you love. Coaches love to draw it up, and you work on it in practice. This was executed perfectly. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up at the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.